stay tuned because in this 3D printing video tech tip, we're going to talk about splitting large parts. Hi, my name is Ricky Shannon, Technical Manager for Trimex 3D Printing Team. And today I want to talk to you about three different scenarios in which you'd want to split large parts. The first scenario I want to talk about is when you have relatively large bulky parts that tend to have a decent thickness through the center of the part. This is a great scenario to use a dovetail cutting tool. Using a dovetail cutting tool, we get a nice self-aligning cut and we can also even add taper to it if we want so the parts snug together even tighter as they're pressed together. We can also add thickness to this through our design to accommodate any adhesive we're going to use, whether we're going to use a really thin solvent-based adhesive or maybe a little bit of thicker, higher viscosity epoxy. But in this case, we're simply going to take our part, we're going to do a combined feature on it, which will leave us with a really nice dovetail. I can separate these and we can see we end up with a really nice alignment going on here. Go ahead and bring this in a GrabCAD print, and we can see this part that was 20 inches can now comfortably fit within a Stratasys F370 build volume. The second scenario I want to talk about is we have relatively thin-walled parts. This is a scenario in which cutting with a dovetail is rather difficult because it's hard to actually align the cutting tools, say in SolidWorks. It's also difficult to align the parts properly when we actually go to physically put them back together. Often in this scenario, it makes a lot more sense to cut them using a relatively complex surface part. In this case, I've just made a convoluted surface and then added some thickness to it. That'll help accommodate for any adhesive that might be going on with this part. And then again, I simply use the combine feature and I subtract the convoluted surface from the body, making sure to keep both portions of the body that remain. And we could see we end up having a really complex shape for them to merge into. And again, we'll take a peek at it here in GrabCAD print. And we can see we can now fit both of these parts together in one build. And we just will end up having a really nice self-centering complex surface to be able to adhere the two and make sure they're properly aligned and add more surface area for adhesive. Sometimes you'll have large parts that they might even fit within the build volume of your actual printer but you may still want to split them. And the reason for this might be because you'd have a part where it has an excessive amount of support underneath of it to support it because of the specific geometry that you have. In which case, sometimes splitting the part horizontally will end up allowing you to print it flat without a lot of support underneath of it, and then afterwards bond the two halves together. Hopefully the tips I just showed you will help you the next time you need to split a large part. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to Trimex 3D Printing Solution Consultants.